Jamie's got the pot boiling. This is some Breaking Bad stuff for sure. <laughs> Bro, we're in a trailer making something, that's for sure. <laughs> Good morning once again from Salt Lake City, Utah. I spent the morning working at a coffee shop. Alpha Coffee, super cool, good vibe, good coffee, really good food as well. I was there all morning. It is approaching noon now and I'm actually heading a little bit south of Salt Lake to visit some friends of mine who I said I was going to visit quite a long time ago and finally I have the opportunity to do so. We'll hopefully be able to film a few things on their behalf and of course I'll bring you guys along for the ride because I know a lot of you out there like knives just as much if not even more than I do. So today we're going to check out Blade HQ. We have made it to the headquarters. Hello, friends. What up? I brought this for the wall. Is there room? Oh, always room. Always room. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is marketing here. This is the knife banner set. It's a mess, but this is how it always looks, let's be honest. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. I mean, we don't look like total slobs on talent shows. No, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all are solid now, so. Gold one's coming soon for you guys. Dude, you too, man. This is your editing station here. So then this is the product area here. So these are all the buyers and everything. Well, it's usually right around 40, 45, but it's Whoa. been, uh, yeah, it's been crazy this year. And this. then here's all the knives. <laughs> Dude, this is insanity. <laughs> like I've obviously seen it a million times on your story and videos yeah. and everything, but yeah. Dude. So you just categorize everything by shelf and row and... Yep, so on the back end when you look it up, it's like, okay, cool, this knife's at 5Q64. And then you just Dude. come pull the knife. That's so sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's oh, super rad. It depends, it? Yeah, we got hey. one or two though. 12,000 skews in the oh, heart? 12,000? I think so. Dang, so many knives. This year, even for the storefront. <laughs> So it's this a mess is... because it's closed, but yeah, you can see out in front, bunch of knives and displays and then... Okay. Yeah. So anyone can come in here on a normal day, you guys are open and, yep. well, I guess look at stuff on the computer and be like, I want that. Yep. And or then just, you guys go back and pick it. Yeah. Or just come, or just come in like, Hey, I want this, 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 and this. And then they just go pick them. Yeah. That's so sick, man. It used to be downstairs just like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I can take this picture and put it on my Instagram. There you go, do it. And tag him and he'll be like, uh, what? <laughs> hey, Kurt, if you watch this, I'm in your studio right now. <laughs> Sorry, you're not here. Big meeting room. Damn. Cool the big meeting room. Now, Who is, that, that, is that number true or? <laughs> All right, so we're sitting here in an office at Blade HQ now, and I have to pick three different knives for a weekly pick to put over on their channel. The problem is I went into my wish list, which has been, I mean, my wish list hasn't really changed in the past, like probably year. And it hasn't changed because all of the knives are just always out of stock. And it's just because I like knives that are apparently hard to get. So now I'm scrolling through their inventory, which is sitting right over there in another room. And I have to pick out some interesting knives. Actually, I asked some of my people over on Patreon. I was like, yo, I'm going to be at Blade HQ. Let me know what you want to see. Dude, there you go. So I'm gonna scroll through everything that they have here and then we're gonna check out some blades here in just a second. One eternity later. All right, we've been sitting here picking knives for the past hour and I've decided, does this beat the mermaid? No. This no. doesn't beat the mermaid. So this no. is the, uh, what is it? The Boker Kalishnikov. Dessert warrior. Dessert warrior. <laughs> Look at this thing. It is, uh, I don't know, man. That might be pretty close to the mermaid. It's pretty close. It's pretty magical. It, it can't can't beat the mermaid. Nothing but... can beat the mermaid. The mermaid is the ultimate real knife. Man, if you got your hands on one of these, you're a, a lucky person. All right, check out the list. How many are on this list? One, two, three, four, five. A bunch of knives. A bunch of knives. We got a bunch of knives to uh, 
to go pick. But we gotta add this to the wall. I saw someone put, yeah, I gave you guys that patch like a long time ago and it's finally up there. So yeah. we can put that right next to it. Yeah, we're gonna put this one up there. Satban, patch is on the wall. Time to go pick some knives. What kind of knife are you carrying, Jamie? I got a customized mini bug out. Oh. Boring. No, that's not boring. <laughs> I'm on team bug out now that's too. Good, that's all I have. I that's left. I left two months ago, and this is the only folding knife that I brought with me. I'm going to buy one of those and dye it today on video just to spite Zach. Nice. <laughs> Where's our first stop? All right, 3F5. Mini bug out. Oh, is this oh, the one? That's is this, a, yeah. this is the one you're gonna die. See, you brought us right here. We have to die it at your house though, right? Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, I got most of the supplies at my house. And so. show everyone your car. <laughs> you gotta show everyone my car. Yes. <laughs> Here's one that was released somewhat recently. Yeah. Only a few weeks ago. Yeah. You guys probably know that I like the 87, so this is the Benchmade 85. That is pretty sweet. This feels lighter than the 87. We'll have to come back to this one. Cool. We have to look at Cold Steel. And you when we're looking to. at Cold Steel, you gotta look at the fanciest Spot XL. Warning, this knife is extremely sharp. <laughs> It really is. They come really sharp from cold steel. You, you, you gotta open this. Yeah. You gotta be the guy that opens this thing. So imagine waving that out of your pocket. This, there's no way that would even fit no, in your pocket. No, put it in your pocket. You will be surprised. It actually fits in your pocket. Nothing else does. I have a bunch of knives in my pocket already. Okay, that... Right? Ridiculous, right. but... It's it, crazy it, that it actually fits, right? I mean, that takes up as much pocket space <laughs> as it can. I would be afraid to wave this open and just like cut off my leg or something. Uh -huh. oh. Well, it's actually kind of smooth. This has a nicer finish than I was kind of expecting, actually. Tom, I think you need to get that thing. That's pretty gangster. <laughs> this would fall along the lines like the mermaid, too. <laughs> just one of those like... Just gotta have it. You just gotta have it. I had to grab a cold steel because I don't own any cold steel knives, so I went the classic route. Recon 1, all black, triad lock. It's a good choice, right? I'd say if you're going cold steel, yeah. That's 35 VN too. Cool. Ooh. Oh yeah. You want to see this one, huh? Yeah. Why do you want to see that? That's so dope. Because that's why. I would race yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, that's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> like I would never use this knife for literally anything, but it is so cool. And it's a Microtech, so it's built really well. That's going in the box. Not what I just showed you guys, but you'll see that later. So this is one that when it came out, I was like, why is everyone so stoked on that? Yeah. But I guess people use it as a money clip too. Mm -hmm. Because of the blade length on it, it's legal in more places. Okay. So it's an OTF that's like legal. You can carry that in, maybe, <laughs> you can carry that in California. Dude, it's like a little, yep. little chode knife. Just enough. <laughs> oh dude, that's really thin too. Uh -huh. So pictures of this are deceptive. I think pictures make it look super wide and like bigger than it is. Mm -hmm. So you said this is one of the best tolerances you've seen on a ballast song in a while. Yeah, and like I said, I'm not a big ballet guy, but I've handled a lot of ballast songs and I understand knife tolerances really well. Yeah. The tolerance on this thing. Oh yeah, there's look at that, hardly dude. any play when it's open too. Yeah, yeah, man, it is crazy how good. You wouldn't think Rick Hinder when you think ballast song, but it's crazy how good these really are. Yeah, dude, those tolerances, whoa. That is super tight. Yeah. Dang, it's smooth too. And this is V3, so even his version one was really good. That one I know I won't already, so I'll just go in there. You Done. guys will see you later. Done. I'm gonna pull this bad boy out. So this, <laughs> I'll let you get out. I love the SE6, my favorite fixed blade because I've had it forever and use it all the time. This is a little choppier. <laughs> I will say in comparison that SE6 not really a knife. No, yeah, it's about <laughs> twice, as, uh, twice as large. Should I buy that? I feel like you need to get it in hand. We'll take it over and open it up so that we can reclose it. Okay. What is it? What are you guys doing? Kurt's yeah. here. Yeah. I'm impulse buying knives. Oh, nice. <laughs> Dude, that's a good, that's a good thing. Yeah, it's a great thing. That's actually like... Uh-huh. Yeah. It's surprising. Like, Essie does such a good job. Even with that much knife, you're like, oh, that's manageable. I think I will take that too. <laughs> impulse buying knives is the best. Yeah. <laughs> I need things to review, so now I got like some new review stuff. There you subjects, go, there you, know? you go, exactly. 
All right, guys, we are now away from Blade HQ, and I'm actually at Zach's place right now. This is his, like, mobile workshop camper thing. Can I show people this in a second? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, All right, yeah, totally. you guys are going to dig what's in here. As far as my knife haul for the day, I, uh, I've i got a pile of knives there, and I'm not going to show you just yet. I'm thinking maybe I will throw a few knife reviews into the mix of, like, the normal Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. So if that's something that you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below. Just say, yeah, we'd like to see knife videos. Leave a like on this video. That would be cool. That way I know to do some extra stuff during the week if I have time. I'm not making any promises right now. There's a chance that I can make that happen in the future. So if you know Zach at all, on a more personal level, he has a ton of toys like motorcycles, and his big mobile workshop, which you guys will see in a second. Are you guys breaking stuff in here? I don't know what Zach's doing over there. Breaking stuff. Breaking stuff. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're gonna do right now is, I'm actually gonna show you one of the knives that I picked up because we're gonna do a little bit of a customization to it. Now you all probably know that I've had the Benchmade bug out in my pocket for quite a while now since I left for this road trip, of course. This is like the only knife that I brought with me. Picked up another bug out. This one's a little different though, and you're gonna know why we're modifying it in just a second. Right here I have the Benchmade Mini Bug Out. This thing is tiny. Actually, now that I look at it, it's kind of cool, even though it's white. So there's a little bit of a size comparison. It's still S30V. This is the CF Elite, the carbon fiber version. So this thing is tiny, but it's also like, it's still usable, but it's white. So we're gonna change that right now. This white is disgusting me. It's so gross, dude. We need to change it. We're gonna fix that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cribs tour, real quick. <laughs> real quick. So what was this thing? Was this like a travel trailer? This is a full-on travel trailer. Yeah, bathroom was here, beds were here, kitchen was there. Dude, so. this is so sick. This is like perfect definition of who you are. <laughs> and I love it. Throw it all out. And then the thing that I love about it is I did a French cleat system. So yeah. everything's modular. So oh, I can take yeah. I can take everything off and reorganize everything if I want to. Dude, so sick. I, yeah. I saw a lot of people doing French cleat stuff like in their home workshops, but this yeah. is yeah, yeah. this is awesome. You got a <laughs> drill press, a little bandsaw. And then this is where I do my leather working is here. So this one, this will be, I'll get all my leather working tools up here on French cleat and then I'll do all my leather working here. Sweet. Yeah, pretty cool, man. Jamie, do you have one of these for editing videos? Unfortunately, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys haven't picked up on it now, the customization that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna turn this thing into, actually, I'm completely copying Jamie because he has this one right here. So we're gonna turn this into that very shortly. These guys already did a super detailed video on this, and if you want to check out like the actual process of if you want to do this yourself, I'll leave a link for it right up there in the corner. So we're gonna set all this stuff up. It's gonna be like quick time lapse, but in just about 10, maybe 15 minutes, this will no longer be white and it'll be all black everything because, you know. Fully disassembled. Jamie's got the pot boiling. This is some Breaking Bad stuff for sure. <laughs> Bro, we're in a trailer making something, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm not even gonna count, I guess. So it's... Oh. No, does. Yeah, definitely don't wanna do that. Hey, should I go a little bit more or? Let's go a little extra black. A little more, a little bit black, huh? A little, a little extra black. All right. I'm excited, John. I'm getting excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Black. Charcoal. Charcoal. Graphite. They look charcoal. <laughs> graphite. Graphite. Damn it. They look graphite. <laughs> that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, dude. So easy. You can do it with any scales. Dunzo. Thanks to these handsome gentlemen right here, I have my CF Elite bug out. And I have a little mini to sort of match. Colors are a little different, but that is rad. Thanks guys. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right guys, just like that, it's a new day and I'm actually sitting in Zach's office, still at Blade HQ. And I've been editing, uploading videos and just working from here. So thanks for letting me uh, 
crash your office. Yeah, dude. It's been great. <laughs> I'm actually gonna end the video here, but I am still gonna be hanging out with both Zach and Jamie, and possibly Ben as well. You might see him in the future. Hopefully, we'll see. But Zach and I are gonna go on an adventure tomorrow because it is beautiful in Utah right now, and we should have some pretty cool stuff coming in the next video. So if you guys want to check out anything that I was showing you here at Blade HQ, check the links in the description down below. Also subscribe to their YouTube channel. They're actually posting what we filmed for their channel tomorrow, my time, which is like a week and a half ago, your time probably, I don't even know. And I think that's gonna be all. So if you're new to the channel, consider clicking subscribe and make new videos every single week. As always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.